Morning guys, it's a uh, Saturday morning out here in Welshpool. It's, it's, it's really uh, nice to yeah, come in just to clean up, get ahead of the week on, on a Saturday if you can, because uh, it's just so quiet. You can hear a few people changing tyres and stuff, but in general it's a, it's a pretty quiet place, which is cool. Um, so today I've just um, finished up the TV so it can be cluttered. Um, if you have a look, uh, it's, I'm pretty stoked with how it's, how it's sort of worked out here. So the TV is on this awesome, awesome bracket that you can flick around and stuff. So you know, so any so we can sit around or whatever. But eventually we're going to have a table out here where we'll do a toolbox meetings and stuff. But um, we had to do this stud wall, and the reason for that was is that we had this massive hole here. These wires, I'm not even sure what they do. So we had to hide a lot of wires and everything. So um, Jason said the ceiling fixer said, "Look, let's just let's just put it out, box it in. The TV can be mounted to the panel, concrete panel, so that's going to be super strong." just boxing around, then you know, we can run all the wires and everything down and, and to it, right? But I didn't want to see you know, heaps of PowerPoints. So I've got one PowerPoint down here, and then a PowerPoint over here, and a data point, and I'll probably have my desk here, where I can, where I can do some work. I, won't, you know, be, I don't hang out on the desk heaps. So just somewhere over here in the corner for me. But I didn't want to have all these PowerPoints and stuff like that. So I came up, I asked Pete, I said, can we put the, you know, is there any reason we you know, can put the um, PowerPoints and stuff behind it in this area on the back, and he said, no worries. So, so you can see here that I've put in a, a couple of these uh, metal brackets here, okay? So what I'm gonna have is, um, I'm gonna have a, I'll put a shelf in, um, and then underneath you can, you can buy these magnets that you can sort of screw in and, and mount them on. So when the shelf goes on, it'll stick onto the magnets, and that shelf you can put the sound bar or something on there, and then any cables, I'll need, I'll just have to have a small, you know, like a small little um, conduit running up here um, with a little cut out of the back of the shelf. And so that shelf can just place on top of that. And so anytime we need access, we can just pop it off and take it. And then inside you can see that I've got all the, uh, the power points there. So one will be for the, you know, TV, uh, you know, the sound bar, the Apple TV or something, whatever, whatever we need. So we've got four, which is plenty. And then right down the bottom there, that's a data cable. To run the TV or whatever, um, you can see it goes all the way down. He's also there's a little frame, like a plastic frame, that you can get for similar to a, a PowerPoint, um, and that's got these little clear brushes on there. Okay, so you can push cables through and push them back in and out. So Pete suggested that if we just buy a really long cable, um, like a six meter or something HDMI, we can plug it into the back of the TV up here, and then run it down, stick it out through those little brush things. And so when we're doing the toolbox meeting, we can pull it out, plug it into a Finney's computer, and then one, one of the, you know, this will be one of the screens, and the other screen will be, um, will be hers. So she can still take all the minutes and everything, what we talked about at the meeting, keep it all nice and safe. And then the other screen, if we need to watch something or go over a job or discuss something, we can put it straight up onto that one. And then, of course, when we're finished, um, instead of having that cable running, like lying on the floor all the time, we can just push it back behind the wall Plenty of space down there and it'll keep it nice and safe. One thing we are struggling with is this uh, internet cable. We found it far over on the corner outside the, all the units. There's a, a box on a post which has it there. So um, one of my customers, Warren, who does all this sort of stuff, he came out um, and helped me locate. He, he did his push rod up, um, up here to see where this, you know, um, phone cable went so originally when we pushed it down it went off that like it went off out past that window there but it was actually going out this way and i remember back in the day when i when i cut up this part here there were a lot of pipes there i didn't know what they were uh, so i did cut the concrete just out here i found the phone line here okay but that goes that way this one here we thought might have been the the phone cable that went all the way to the front of the unit but then Pete noticed too that there's a this here, that's a cable that goes up to the um, to this power point here. Okay, now that stuff's not even meant to be in the sand like that. You know, it's meant to be in a, a proper conduit, and so it, totally illegal again, totally dodgy. So during the build, um, we've been taking photos of the pipes and everything, and so now this is where it's really come into its own because. We've, we've taken these photographs and you can see that there's three pipes that were going over to that area there, okay? So we found those three pipes. One of them, you could see the, 
the cable for the power point going into and there's another power point there so that was the other one and then it was the phone cable but then if you can see on the photo you can see there's two or three that are going off straight over to the other side of the unit and I think one of those are the ones that has that cable so to me I think like just through here those phone cables come from this area here and go all the way all the way through there like past out my unit under the floor there all the way to the to the very front of the of the unit where it is so I've got a guy coming in a couple of days that Warren my mate um, or my, one of my customers who does all this stuff he's organized them because they've got a tracing line now if it's the same what we do with the drains then that might be good he might be able to shove it down and push it up and if we can find it here somewhere before we go into the office maybe we can put the NBN cable here on the, in the box on the wall and then run it up to the, you know, to the box out the back. I don't know, was, that's, that's one of the things that's holding us up a bit. Um, and I don't know what the other options are if, if I can't get the NBN in here. There's, there's satellite dishes. I know a guy over the road got a satellite dish on his. He said that might be able to um, do that or something. I don't know how all this works.